Normally when I do a pedal demo, I don't really speak, uh, but I wanted to do just this one little segment here just to kind of give a little bit of backstory. Um, this was the pedal that I basically got when I was 16 years old and I was searching for my metal tone, my brutal, angry, disgusting, fearful, and yet lovable metal tone that would be with me throughout my uh, I'm going to be a famous rock star uh, phase, you know, when you first get into playing uh, metal. Um, I was 16 and I had all these aspiring hopes and dreams to be a rock star and this was the pedal that basically um, won me over. I remember going into Daddy's Junkie Music uh, at the time, a retailer on the East Coast, and, you know, seeing this guy on display and saying to myself, wow, you know, it's got two knobs, it's all black. There wasn't a lot of black guitar pedals back in 2004. There was lots of colorful ones, but I saw this and I was like, yeah, it's only got two knobs. I don't know how good it's going to sound, but I, I plugged it in and, you know, for the two knobs and the, you know, scoop here, I... I was blown away um, and I remember being with my friend and we were just like looking at each other like you know holy shit this pedal fucking rules and so I bought it it was like $48 back then in 2006 and I remember having to trade a couple of things in to get it and put it on my board and it did, it was permanently on for about six months I mean this thing never it was, it was always on pedal it was my metal tone and I remember playing some shows like one of my first shows I ever played with this pedal being my distortion and I was in love with it uh, I sold it like every um, other person does when they're cycling through their pedal phase um, and I have not played one listened to one or really used one since 2006 so you know here we are some 15 years later um, I have not like I said listen to this or used one since then so I want to see to me if it still lives up to the hype I've recorded a song DI I'm going to reamp it through um, I think my fender maybe and just have this on um, as the distortion pedal for the test and I'm gonna see if it still blows my mind like it did 16 years ago If you found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, of, you know, this pedal. What you what you think of a 15-year-old pedal? Does it still live up to the 2021 modern metal standard? What's a, what's a pedal that you loved back then that you still keep on your board or still have a deep connection with? 
uh, you know, let me know. And as always, thanks again for watching.